Not deep enough. You, uh, you really realize how not December 1st it is when your friends start Snapchatting you jokes about how much you post videos about the JLPT. Yeah, that one's, that one's on me, guys. It was JLPT season, but the test is over, and I don't even want to think about that stupid test until June. So, what are we gonna do this week? I have decided to do something a little bit more utilitarian, something that the vast majority of people who end up going to Japan uh, can actually utilize. If you've ever been wandering through the bookshelves of a, a book off or some other used store, maybe it's a new store, I don't really care what your guys' budget is. But if you're looking for a first edition Vigilantes, like I have here, it could be a pain to figure out where all these books are in the store, and let me tell you, you're not helping your Japanese all that much by asking a clerk, hey, where is this thing? So for those of you not cool enough to actually be part of the manga club, Link in the description down below. Shameless self-promotion for the Christmas season. Uh, and you were in Japan, and you were looking for not only a manga, but really any type of book in most bookstores. Uh, I figured this video might help you. We are all there. We're fresh off the plane. We're in Japan, and you just wander into some place that has books, and you realize, holy crap, it is so cheap to buy Japanese materials here. And like most of you, every time I'm there, I stock up. I'm a bit of a hoarder when it comes to... Japanese literary materials, but here's the tricky bit up until probably two years ago I had no comprehension of the Japanese Dewey Decimal System because they don't really have a Dewey Decimal System They have their own thing, but what is that thing? How can I learn it Chad? How can I take my friends to Japan and show off like I actually know what I'm doing even though I I'm barely functional well uh, stranger watching my YouTube channel, let's talk about it. Now this should work for the vast majority of bookstores that you go to. If it's a really big bookstore, it might be helpful to use one of those cool lookup computers they have. Especially if you're in a big city, they probably have English, but that's not the point of this channel. We reject our mother tongues here at the Chad Zimmerman Studios Incorporated LLC. And we're, we're doing this also to practice Japanese. It's not just about being stingy and not being able to afford textbooks in America. It's about actually using the language that we're learning from these textbooks to find more textbooks. It's a never-ending cycle of more and more shelf space lost. But I do have to differentiate uh, if you are going to be looking for a specific manga as opposed to basically anything else. Manga tends to have its own system that is still in the steps that I'm going to show you, but there is a, a little bit of a difference. But I'll explain that at the end of the video after you learn the basic how to find wh whatever pornographic, because odds are that's what you're looking for. You filthy animals material that you are looking for in Japan. So you walk into a Japanese bookstore, it is weirdly quiet and people are looking at you because you probably have a face that doesn't match theirs. But then they go back to reading their fat mags or whatever it is that they're doing and you are now on a journey to find like a Tanizaki book. Like one of, let's just use him for an example because I already have his books. He's a novelist so you're going to be looking for Japanese novels so the very first thing you need to do when you walk in is figure out where am I and what are all these shelves I'm looking at. Typically above the shelves or on the end of the shelves, there's gonna be Japanese explaining what the shelves are. So, you look up and you're able to find, for our example, we're using Tanizaki, so you're gonna be looking for a Japanese novelist, essentially. Once you found that section, we're either above the shelf or on the side of the shelf, it says Japanese authors, you then need to figure out, well, yeah, but there's like a million authors. How am I supposed to find this? Well, that's where the next step comes in. Uh, the vast majority of just regular Japanese books. Mangas sometimes might have this. It's a lot rarer. Uh, but normal Japanese books, especially light novels, novels, um, textbooks, just normal books that are on the shelves of the vast majority of bookstores, have a kana on the bindings of the books. When I was in Japan last, I took some uh, some reference pictures for this video, so hopefully you guys can see the little markers I put on here. Even if you can't read like Yamada, you know that this is a Y section for Yama, right? Yama da. And then you at least know you're in the right genre, and it, you're in the section of the ABCs that are roughly where you need to be. So you're gonna find the ta section for Tani Zaki. Pretty much every used bookstore that I go to, I actually took a lot of these reference photos in Book Off, and they happen to have these. So just uh, a heads up, but sometimes you could find a different colored uh, little stick out bit like this. This actually tells you that this is the K section going from there forward. Uh, and you can also verify which side of that is the K. Just by looking at the bindings of the book, you should see a little kana K on there. So we found our uh, our genre. We found the first letter of our guy's name. In our case, it's a ta for Tanizaki. Now you know what book you want, hopefully, and you also hopefully know the person's name. Maybe you screenshotted it, you wrote it down in your notes somewhere. 
Uh, you, you, found, you found some way of recognizing this book. All you have to do now is on the shelves, in the correct section, is line up whatever his name is with what, uh, with what these are written. This is where knowing kanji is helpful. Pretty much anyone can pick out a basic shape, right? As long as the shapes line up, you're probably fine. That's probably his section. So congratulations, you found the novelization. You, you freaking did it, kids. Touchdown Broncos. Well, actually, that's not gonna happen. The Broncos are garbage, but the Touchdown Patriots, whatever, I don't care. This system can be worked for anything. Figure out the subgenre, figure out what the first kana of the last name of the author is. So if I was it, it would be a G, which would be in the, the she section. If you're looking for, I don't know, Ga, like someone's last name starts with like Garfield. Garfield. <laughs> then you find their books, buy them, and feel accomplished. And the next time you come to Japan with that special lady or that special fella or your parents, and you want to pretend like all of this wasn't just a complete waste of your time. Like spending all this money going to Japan and buying textbooks didn't just make you have horrible existential crises about how worthless everything is and how None of it matters. If you like to avoid that, take them to a bookstore and say, Oh no, I know how to read all these. I can find it right there. And then they're like, Oh, Jozu. Super Jozu, kid. So yeah, that's how you can actually find whatever book you're looking for in a Japanese bookstore. I did hold my promise, though. Mangas are indeed a little bit different. Uh, they are organized, of course, by subgenre, which in this case you'd find the wall that says manga. You can usually find it because you can see a giant pink row of books and a bunch of 45-year-old men in masks flipping through them. Don't think that's the section they intended that to be, but that seems to be the case in every store I've been to. Either way, congrats, you found the manga section. The issue is, they organize it instead of strictly by the author's last name, they first organize it by publisher. And as you can see here, there is a little blue strip at the bottom, which should tell you the publisher of the book. So before you go looking for a manga specifically at a store, a couple pieces of information that'll be helpful for you. I can speak English. I didn't stud stutter there or there. Ah, uh, help! Make sure you have the name of the manga, the name of the person who made the manga, and then also make sure you have the publishing house on there. If you have those three pieces of information, you should be able to find any manga in the store as long as it actually is there. Then you just follow the same route. Once you find the right publisher, look for your artist's name, and then the work should be there or it's not because someone shoplifted it. Shameless self-promotion time. I do this for free for you guys, so that way you can hopefully have a better experience in Japan or show off to your weeby friends. If you would like to show a little support for the Chad Man, the Chad Miser, the best way to do that is the Manga Club. I have a Patreon that one of the tiers is the Manga Club, which by the way is coming to Australia. Good day, mate! With two tiers in Australia, with five slots, you guys are going to be able down under to get your manga fix. Be it America or Australia, it is less than a cup of coffee a day, significantly less than a cup of coffee a day. It's less than a dollar a day. It's called our Manga Club Tears. Go check the link down below for my Patreon. Scroll all the way down, you'll see it. That is a great way to help me. You will get four Japanese mangas shipped to your house every single month to read as fat material, to burn, I don't know. I, I don't know what you guys do with books when you can't read them. But that's a great way to support me. Another great way to support me is a company I started with my dad, Zim Car Rod Company. It's a company I started uh, with my dad about these guys. These are Japanese Tenkara fly rods. If you guys have ever seen those old pictures of Japanese people fishing in like mountain streams or rivers with bamboo poles, that's what this is. But this is the hot modern cousin of it. Uh, we import these. They're a super fair price. They're $60 for the starting pack. And it makes a great gift if you want to share a little bit of Japanese culture with your dad uh, by supporting me and my dad. These are also shipped straight from Japan. It helps support a small business like Chad. Uh, and I think it makes for a pretty cool gift. All right, that's about it for this week. I gotta get to editing this so I could actually finish school in time. So thank you all so much for watching. So thank you so much for supporting me. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or compliments, leave them in the comment box down below. I do personally read them every single morning. If you like this video, check out my 400 other videos. If those are pretty cool, it helps me a lot if you subscribe. But don't just subscribe. You should hit the notification bell too because Lord knows YouTube is not helping the small guy nowadays, so I gotta kinda look out for myself. So, if you would like to hit the notification button, it'll alert you whenever I go live for the Anime Night live stream every Saturday. All right, everybody, go home for the holidays. Call your moms, they miss you. Uh, love hard, love deep, and I will see you all next week. Bye bye Do a little bit of, a little bit of finger guns here. I'm sad. <laughs>